was to fully express uh, and live in his sort of manic, uh, hyperactive state, but at the same time not push the audience away too much with uh, behaviour that is so alien that they can't relate to it. So try and go for that in the extreme, but still let the audience in and have moments of pathos and, and compassion where the audience can really understand him as somebody like them, and then kick him in the teeth and go and do something crazy again. You know? Somebody evil, that there is somebody who can save him, is because he 
Igor is the only person who has been allowed to see how special Victor is. Victor is opened up to him. And so, Victor, and so Igor can see that, but yes, he's kind of crazy, but he's also very kind, and generous, and exciting, and very intelligent. And so Igor knows that there's something worth saving, and that he wants to save about him. And if Victor had never let him in, and become friends with him, then he'd be left on his own, really. Um, I suppose I know what the message of the film is, but I don't really like spelling that out for people, but I'd say what the discussion of the film is, is, uh, you know what? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Which is evil. <laughs> um, bye bye. <laughs> no, it's okay. We're really not going to get it. The film is much more interesting than what we're saying. She's like, I'm still out of here. Uh, uh, I, yeah, so the discussion of the film is, uh, for me, one of the discussions of the film anyway is, uh, should man, can man, will man become the creator? Uh, and just because we can do something scientifically, does it mean we should? I know what I stand for, huh? but I feel that, you know, people are forever come out against obstacles when they are trying to push back boundaries. And particularly in science, and the one kind of pattern that I always seem to sort of be attracted to is stem cell research. Where five or ten years ago, you couldn't get stem cell research done. It was terrible. It was, it was a taboo. You were a provider if you were trying to get it done. But no, we just do it. And it's not like it's been some big, huge festival where everybody got together and went, do you know what? We've changed our minds. It just happened. And that's what happened with science. I think. People come up against haters and people that are very afraid and scared. Uh, and then suddenly everybody's found it there. And that's what seems to happen in this as well. Everybody's scared of what Victor's trying to do. Don't get me wrong, they should be. But the idea of what he's trying to do is normal, I think. Siguiente pregunta, vamos a odiarlo a la cartelera MX. Hola, ¿qué tal? Buenos días, Estela, bienvenidos a México. Eh, yo quisiera hacer dos preguntas, Daniel. Antes que nada, felicidades por la estrella que tienes en Hollywood y que no se ha dado aquí desde en nuestra conferencia. A partir de este momento, ¿qué significado tiene para ti esta estrella también? Porque haces ahorita una película que realmente puede empezar a, a seguir catapultándote este, artísticamente y que se dejó a un lado esa, ese problema que tienen muchos actores, ¿no? Ser encasillados por determinado personaje y qué no ha pasado contigo. ¿Qué sensación te da y, este, y qué es lo que pues, prosigue al futuro después de esta producción? Um, absolutely. No, I, I feel very lucky that people have given me opportunities to do other stuff and have uh, allowed me to play uh, more roles than, than just Harry, um, which is fantastic. The star, essentially, to me, means that like, no matter how badly things go from here, I, I always have that. You know? <laughs> um, so that, that's some sort of comfort and security in that. Um, but no, I'm very, I'm very excited about the future. You know, I'm in a position where which very few actors, particularly actors of my age, are where you have a lot of say of what you want to do, a lot of control in, in your career. Uh, and you don't have to do something unless you love it and are excited by it. Um, so, you know, I, yeah, I'm very excited about just continuing, hopefully, on, on that path and, and making more weird, cool movies like this one. Siguiente pregunta, Francisco López, Extremo.net. Hola, Francisco, ¿cómo estás? Uh, dangerous information 
They're both in charge of something that is potentially explosive, and that they live with that pressure every single day of their lives. And whereas Charles is more, whether well, well, they deviate, whether well, different, is that Charles is a responsible man who sees that as a heavy burden, whereas Victor relishes it and sees it as like a firework display. You can't wait for, you know, fireworks like when you can go crazy and make all nice colours in the sky. Um, that's it. That's poetic. Um, so, uh, uh, it's, they are similar in lots of ways, but very, very different in lots of ways. If like, Victor's like the evil twin brother of somebody like Charles, you know what I mean? He's like Charles in a really bad cake. Uh, which I do actually think there is a comic book version of like an evil version of Charles, which I really love to play. Siguiente pregunta, Marta Violante, si me perdía. Hola, ¿qué tal? Mi nombre es Marta Violante, para James. Me gustaría, en muchas historias de Frankenstein, el científico llega a repetirse de lo que crea. En esta ocasión, eh, Víctor permanece bastante lógico hasta el final de, de la película. ¿Qué puedes decir acerca de eso? En muchas encarnaciones de, de, de la historia de Frankenstein, el científico permanece, llega un momento en que se arrepiente de lo que hace. En esta ocasión, eh, no es así. Uh, I'm, really, I'm, I'm really pleased that he's crazy to the end. Uh, in the book, he's, it's not that he suddenly regrets what he's done. The book, uh, he creates the monster and then the monster dies and then he goes on vacation for a year and takes it easy, uh, he does yoga and um, then he comes back and he's like, whoa, 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 what do you mean? The monster's alive? Oh, better go kill it. And, uh, and he's like a, a hero then. He's like a normal man and he's a hero. With the and all that. What I really liked about the movie is that it didn't let the audience off the hook in terms of, in terms of how they relate to a character who is so extreme. It didn't make it easy for them to suddenly go like, you know, phew, he's nice now. Um, so by keeping him crazy all the way to the end, I felt it was actually much truer of, of who the man was. And, and I think the moment of regret, it's not so much a moment of regret, it's a moment of massive disappointment. And that uh, he thought he was creating not just